Hi there. It's the most incredible day. I've actually been fortunate enough to do, they're doing a lot of work planting trees in the garden adjoining this quite good field I've found some great things on recently. And I've been allowed to have a look in the garden, but like all gardens, it's adjoining a really good field, but it's had decades of children in them. So there's ring pulls and cans and everything. It's just slightly driving me mad. So I'm gonna just finish off the field first and not worry about the garden too much because I think I, I bang on the whole time about, about time management. And when it comes to metal detecting, I really, I'm a really strong believer in it because it's, it, you know, you don't want to waste your time. And today I don't really want to be digging up Coke cans. Um, I'll, I'll try and do it another time. I want to concentrate on what I think might be quite good. And I haven't been here very long and I found the most incredible, most incredible brooch. Now, to my eye, I found a thousand of these rings, these very boring, bigger rings. They look to me like they would be um, harness rings. There's nothing to give them away. Sometimes the smaller harness rings you find have pins on them and, then, and that makes them a brooch. Um, but the, some of the bigger ones, I automatically assume must be later, perhaps Georgian, and definitely something to do with bridles and stuff, and I dismiss them. No, not once now I've found one of these. This is an absolutely perfectly circular um, ring with the most wonderful pin in it. Um, so it's an annular brooch. Now, I don't know what it, ages, what it dates to, but I've got, it must be medieval, mustn't it? Um, and that's just absolutely fabulous. So don't... I mean, honestly, that ring to me, by itself, I would have said was a modern harness ring. It's not. Don't, don't go to your, your hoop box and then claim now that they're all brooches. I mean, they probably aren't. But that's just a brilliant piece of... Um, well, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. We won't go back now, I promise. But we might have a little look at it when we do. Well, this might be a, just a bit of rubbish. I, I am so sorry about the audio in the last video and my mic's just about to run out, so I'm going to run back to the car and get some more batteries for it if you can't hear me very well. But this is that audio, that I won't be as bad as that again. I think I must have knocked it out in the edit and this, it was all terrible. But that sounds like a cartridge, okay? I don't know what it is, I haven't seen it yet. Look how far down it is. It's about two foot down. Now, it's probably rubbish. I've been digging up so much lead today that I'm not really live digging. It's just lead after lead after lead and they're all tiny little, little squares. It's very odd. But I'm running this machine. God, I've got a love-hate relationship with this thing. My God, it depends on what sort of mood she is in the morning. I'm running reactivity on 2.5. I don't like going any lower than that, I've decided. Everything's too punchy and strong. This was a tiny wisp like the old Deus used to give me. I mean, since the full tones, reactivity 2.5. I've lowered the audio response bit as well, just so that I've got an idea of depth. I don't want everything smashing out at me as if it's on the surface. It was driving me nuts. So I've just dinked around with it. And with reactivity 2.5, okay, you've just got to be, you've just got to listen out a bit long, a bit more, that's all. But that's what you used to have to do with the old machine. But my God, this was deep. This was proper deep. And it's sounding nice. As I said, I don't know what it is. Yet. Knowing my luck, it's probably rubbish today. It's been that sort of day. It might be a... Oh, it's another square piece of lead. But my God, that was deep. It's not very big. I don't know what these square bits of lead have been used for, but they're driving me potty today. But my God, that was something. That was something. I have found one piece here. To just a little bit, a mark above the others. Because it's just got markings on it. Now, these markings are definitely... I wonder if you can see me okay. They're definitely intentional. What they mean, I don't know. They look like runes. Could they be runes? Um, but they're all quite sort of uniform. They look like little, little bird's feet, little arrows. So that's quite nice. But the rest of it, I think, is... Well, I just don't know, but it's driving me bonkers. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hope you can hear me over the din of the workers over there. <laughs> they sound like they've got their pneumatic drills out. God knows what they're doing. Well, I know what they're doing. They're planting trees, but my God, it's making a noise. I've just found two really cool things just here. Now look at this. That it's got to be a buckle of sorts, I would have thought. Yes, it is, look. Now, I don't think these are the earliest in the world. They're probably Tudor, I would have thought. Maybe slightly earlier, but it's got a most lovely design on it. And that's the, what would have been the strap end there. If I bring that round very gently, try not to break it. I bet I do, I bet the pin comes off now. There we go. So you can see where the, 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 the copper strap end would have fixed there, the integral, integral strap plate whatever buckle plate but that's lovely and then this i can count on one hand how many of these i found it's a william the third farthing and it's a bloody lovely one look at that it's been it's pretty worn but it's worn through use it's not worn through corrosion britannia there and then there's old william and it says guillermo so on that side probably tertius yep i can see the ius what a lovely coin so two really cool things, not the earliest in the world, but very nice. Well, I found one of these before the other day, look. It's one of those um, early buckles, or rather brooches with the, um, the symbolizing the hands praying, and it would have had a little, I mean, that's absolutely wonderful. The one I found had its pin, which here you can see would have sat just there. Um, that's amazing. Gosh, how funny. Um, that's just lovely. Um, I won't bore you again with it now because, because we have found one. I'll put, I'll put a card up now with the video with that one in it, but look at that. So it would have had a little jewel or something in that section there. Um, and I think they date to about 1200, 1300, they're early. Isn't that lovely? God, I'm pleased with that. Cool, that rang really strongly. Well, you're gonna get much the same view at the minute, I'm afraid, mainly because of wind and sun factors, as I always go on about. Um, and I'm not live digging at the moment because it's just too much lead. But in between that lead, well, this, I think I may have, I'm not gonna, I, I don't wanna count my, chickens too soon but i may have my god what's all... so much noise today i may have stumbled on some settings that really suit me by just calming everything down i've i haven't lowered the sensitivity but i haven't put it up like i sometimes do i'm running on all multi-frequency but i'm keeping the reactivity quite high i know i know it can go really low with this but i don't like that i like i'm, I'm getting wispier signals like this one, I don't know what it is yet because I haven't opened it. See a sort of edge there. Well, isn't that cool? I mean, it's a sort of, I mean, I suspect it's a medieval buckle or strap end or something. That's where the pin was, I think. Just there. And, um, yeah, isn't that nice? Gosh, there are some things here. Um, I think that's where a pin would have gone, I think. Um, not sure. Yeah, I think it must be a buckle of sorts or a strap end of sorts. Maybe a strap end with a buckle. I mean, that bit there looks to me like that would have been the pin, a bit of an iron pin. Um, There's definitely something sort of ferrous there, I think. But that's just really cool. Lovely little find, that. I mean, that's got to be medieval, hasn't it? I would have thought. Well, <laughs> this is wonderful. Now, I think it's a thimble. And at first glance, I thought, well, it must be just the edge, the end of one or the end of something, because it can't be that small. But I think I can see that it, it is properly finished. Um, it's a tiny little beehive. I think they call these ones beehive with a little sort of nipply type thing on the top there and i think it i think it must be a thimble is it a child's thimble or a very a small girl's thimble i mean a small lady's thimble but what an absolute crack i've never found anything quite so dinky 
I mean, that's got to be quite early, I would have thought. Now, I don't know what it is. I think it's probably copper. I'm bloody well hoping it's not silver. But, but a lot of you ask me what my beef with the flows and the past portable antiquity scheme is. Well, it's got a little bit to do with the fact that it seems like about 15 years since they had a sil silver thimble off me, along with a little Viking brooch, which is also silver, tiny little thing, and I haven't heard hide or hair. After about three years, they said the local museum might want to be interested if you want to donate them. I didn't say anything to that, but probably thought, well, my hand's been um, slightly forced here and I'll have to, I'm not accepting five quid. Like all these things, but I'm not saying it's not about the five quid. It's about the fact that they're valuable to us because we find them. There's no monetary value you can put on that. If I tried to sell that, it probably is worth a fiver, but I, I don't care. Anyhow, oh, I haven't heard anything since. Nothing, and neither has the landowner. They've gone completely quiet, so they've either stolen them or lost them, and I'm just reluctant to deal with them ever since. Apart from the fact that I've had not great dealings with flows either, but um, that's another story. But but that, I, I think it's probably copper. We'll say it's copper, whatever. Um, and it's just wonderful. That's made my day. It's so sweet. Well, this might make it all worth coming out for. <laughs> Where is it? It's absolutely minute, and I found it quite near where I found the thimble. So we might be in land of the midgets, which I, I'm not sure, but I'm probably not allowed to say. But, um, but I'm, not, I'm not the tallest man in the world. Um, I thought it was a button. I bought it out like that. <laughs> this is just wonderful. I'm not live digging at the moment because there's just too much lead. I'd be wasting too much time. I'm, I'm digging up lead every every other you know every minute at the moment but this is a, such a surprise now it's a tiny I thought it might be a button because I could see the flat side there and then when it had mud on it I could I thought that would be just a longish shank but it's not it's a seal matrix <laughs> it's a tiny tiny seal matrix um I'm praying it's not silver as well I, I can it might be silvered um I don't think it is silver. Hooray, it's not silver. Um, even though it does look a bit shiny. And let's have a look. Well, there is the stamp. Now, I don't know what's going on there. Presumably loads of letters and some symbol of sorts. I don't want to rub this too much. I get into trouble anyway from you all telling me not to rub things too much. So I'm not going to. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. The diddiest little thing. Um, we will have to go back to headquarters with this. I can't wait to see what it looks like once it's cleaned up. Um, and I'm really excited. So let's go. I'll come and get this later. Hi there and welcome to headquarters. We've got to be fairly quick because we've got quite a lot to get through today. Um, but happy Christmas and New Year and all that. And thank you very much um, for regular viewers who have supported the channel for the year. It's been, it's been a really brilliant year. I've had a massive amount of fun and we've found loads of really good things and let's just hope for, for more in 2024. Fingers crossed. It's bloody cold at the moment and I've just been doing stuff outside and, and that's why I've got my scarf on because the house hasn't completely warmed up yet. Anyway, to this seal matrix. Now at the time I thought it was tiny, but having now brought out a couple more that I've found over the years and this one very recently which is an absolutely fabulous one it's a personal one I did it was in a video about a couple of months ago um it's got Isabella de Parme or something on it which is wonderful these ones the personal ones date to the sort of 12th to the 13th century and the ones I'm going to talk about now with just sort of mottos on them are slightly later they date to the 14th century but that one's just one of the best ones ever but as I said I thought this was really diddy but I haven't fa found a smaller one there Um, and a couple of larger ones. I mean, these really are some of my favourite things to find. As you can see from the video, I get, I get so excited. Anyway, as I said, the, these ones, um, some of them have um, personal ones, the name of the, of the person it belonged to. The rest of them, others just have sort of mottos and sayings and stuff. And they all tend to evolve vaguely around sort of, I fancied you for yonks and um, will you be mine and I swear to keep our love a secret and all that sort of stuff. I mean, they do tend to be on those sort of lines. In fact, the Portable Antiquities Scheme's got a whole list of the sort of things they say. 
and it's sort of um believe in me um crow my day i am a seal of true love la di la la di da um, some of them are a bit more christian fear god thanks be to jesus but you you get the idea and this one because i put it on the detecting hub .co.uk information below who've been brilliant all year identifying all sorts of strange finds I've I've had. And I put this on and they got back to me fairly quickly and it says, and I'll show you in a minute because we're about to use it, um, sort of it says, I am private, e su privé, which is sort of old French, I think, for I am private. Now, I don't quite know what I am private means. Does it mean that I'm, I'm going to keep our love secret or you can trust in me? I'm, I'll stay stum. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But, but let's just, let's, let's try it out. I love doing this. I've done this a couple of times before um, on videos, but it's just brilliant. I've got some sealing wax. This is just red, um, but it comes out with the, with the, with the flame and stuff, you get a really blood red, quite a dark, dark red going on. If I can get the thing to light. Okay, here we go. But we have to keep the... Now, I'm getting better at this. You've got to do it fairly, what you've got to, you've got to catch it fairly while it's hot and you just move it around a bit like that. I'm gonna do a bit, I'm gonna fire up this a bit just to see if I can get the, get a, do it slightly, speed it up by just heating up the wax with the, with the thing. So move it around like that, make a nice big splodge, make sure it's nice and hot get that out of the way and with our seal now apparently don't use blue tack there's all sorts of things like all all these things you know all sorts of things you can use and you can't use putty's very safe apparently some people say don't use sealing wax um because this isn't exactly the sort of sealing wax they would have used back in the day but actually in my experience there's not done any damage to it at all it's absolutely fine it's a really good seal anyway and i forgot to say there's a little bird on it a little bird on it um with, with a feather i don't can't quite see if the feathers in its beak or the feathers up, it, is above it um and that's the symbol in the middle which we're about to see here and here we go there he is walking left with his little feather and and um i think it is coming out of his mouth and i am private or whatever it says on the on the outside and it's absolutely beautiful i mean it's a really really good one it's the imprint is perfect um so I'm not quite sure what the symbolism of the bird is, or the dove, maybe dove, the, the dove of love or something. It's a dove of peace, isn't it? But anyway, anyway, I've been going on far too long. So that, that, that's it. It's just so wonderful to see these work. Imagine the last time that someone would have actually used that, probably 700 years ago, um, to, to seal off to his lover saying, don't worry, don't worry, Gertie, your secret's safe with me, sort of, <laughs> or whatever they said. So that's that. Um, and, and, and while we're here, just have a quick look at this thimble. I do think that's possibly quite an early one. I haven't really had time to research it yet properly. <clears throat> but look, it, it is small, but it's not stupidly small. I mean, I don't have particularly big hands and it does fit quite snugly on my little finger. And maybe, it, and, and it's got that sort of nipply bit on the top. So I think that's an early one. I think that's possibly 15th century, um, 14th, 15th century, maybe 16th century. I don't know enough about thimbles. I'm not a made, I'm not a big fan of thimbles, if you want my honest opinion. But what I, but, but I don't mind ones like this. I mean, it's just a cracker. It's a copper one. It's not a silver one. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just thrilled with it. Well, that's just the most stunning buckle. Um, I mean, it really beautiful. It would have had its. I mean, I think that's way. That's probably twelve fifty, thirteen fifty, something like that.
absolutely stunning. My God, what a day. I think they do date to about then. My God, it's another tiny thimble. Who was working here? Now that's not an early one, like the last one. Um, but it's still in lovely condition. And again, my God, better get the NSPCC out, child labour, a field of oh, very small people. I don't like thimbles generally, you may know that. But these two, but these two I've found today have been really cool. Dinky little thing. Well, I thought I'd better film this because it's in the, it sounds quite dingy, quite, it's a bit brutish, but it's in the same area as the thimble and the mate seal matrix. So, oh, it's got cold suddenly. I bet it's another piece of lead. I, it's the reason I haven't been digging. Oh, it's a cartridge. Would you believe it? That's the only reason I don't live dig because it's just wasting everyone's time, I'm afraid. You're just going to have to just watch me bring out the good stuff as and when. We'll end on one that we always do. Now, it looks like a buckle, doesn't it, of sorts. But that's unusual, isn't it? My God, what a, what a beauty. I've never found one like that. That's an absolute belt, or is it a ring? No, but you can tell because um, of that section there and that section there, obviously. So your, your buckle plate would have, would have fitted there. There, rather. Look at the design on that. Is that Roman? I've never seen... I'm absolutely thrilled. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? What a bloody day I'm having. We'll look at that when we let's go back to headquarters as well. God. My God, it's getting cold. And I'm going to call it a day fairly soon. But this is just the icing on the cake of on what's already been the most incredible day. <laughs> I think it's, it's a Roman coin. It's just, I think it's a silver Roman coin. <laughs> um, it's a silica, silica, I'm sure of it. But I've said that before in this field. I've found coins in such good condition. I said, oh, that might be silver. And we've looked at them more closely and, and, and they're not. But this is almost definitely, I'm going to be quite careful with it. It's got a very good ape, um, emperor on one side. I can probably even read it. It says, well, I'm not sure. And it's, it's a Constantinian one, or House of Constantine, i.e. those who came after him. So it's mid-4th century. They didn't have denariuses or denarii in, in, at that time. So if it's silver on this side, then it's got to be a siliqua. And that's what it is. And on the other side is a... I mean, they're the same size as nice. It's a seated goddess, um, or, or, or Pontiff Maximus, or whatever they call it. I'm not going to rub that anymore, because it's not a denarius, it's a siliqua. They're slightly finer, they're a bit more delicate. Um, and that's absolutely bloody brilliant. Um, well, what a day. Well, look, we're going to have to go back and have a look at this. I'm really pleased. I've, never, I've not found Roman silver in this field before. And these coins do not come out well, generally. They usually clip within an inch of their life. All you can see is the emperor, no legend. There's plenty of legend on that. We're going to, that's probably the best one I've found when it comes to siliquas. And it is, it's denarius plural. I got it. I, I, 
When I hear someone say, oh, I found a lovely denarii, it drives me completely mad. It's denarius, single, denarii, plural. That's neither, it's a soliqua, and it's bloody brilliant. Wow, cool. Let's go back to headquarters. Hi there, and welcome back. And just for those who like having a quick look at Tasky, here he is. I do notice in the, um, the YouTube statistics and all the rest of it, um, that, that when Tasky makes an appearance, viewers, it does sort of, the line does sort of dip slightly, but I think there are enough of you who are, who are happy to see him, so I don't mind, because he's just, just a cracking little dog. Um, and so happy Christmas from him as well. And, and let's have a quick look at this, the, the Liqua, it is a Liqua. Now, I, I am right in saying, if, it, if it's a coin of this date, <clears throat> and it's silver and little, it's likely to be a Liqua. There are other silver coins um, from the fourth century and I can't remember off the top of my head which ones they are but they're, they're pretty rare, they're, they're, they're pretty uncommon. This is the main one, a Soliqua, um, and it's just in the most incredible um, condition and I can clearly see Gracianus, Gratianus, um, so that makes, it, that makes it Gratian and you've got very clearly as well Herbs Roma on the other side with a seated, I think I'm not sure if it is a goddess. I think it's the Pontiff Maximum or, or, or the High Priest, which would have been the Emperor as well. Um, and it's just a lovely little coin. And I've just looked up Gratian. He was Emperor of the Western Empire because it had split by this stage um, from 367 to 383 and was the elder son of Valentinian I. I don't know an awful lot about him, but, but, but you know, that's a hell of a reign. That's whatever it is, 14, 15 years. I mean, my maths is terrible. Um, but these coins do not fare well generally. That the, the, they are silver, but I'm not sure how a pure the silver is. And because of the fineness of them, they do tend to crack. Um, but for whatever reason, I mean, they do really suffer from clipping. And because of what of the makeup of the silver um, and the thinness of it, they often crack as well. You get. I mean, they don't they don't survive well. But this one, this one's unclipped. You can see the beading all around the outside. I haven't given it a particularly good clean. I've just taken the dirt off and given it a bit of a wipe. It might benefit with a bit of a clean, but it's just, you know, it, it's just the most beautiful coin. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And it's the first piece of Roman silver from that field. So, I mean, just brilliant. And just while we're here, just quickly, these two last buckles. I don't know. I think this, I've got a feeling this is early. I have put it on the detecting hub and I always get into trouble by saying, um, for, for not giving um, people there long enough to come back to me. But I'm running out of time to get this video out because there's a, it's just coming up literally to Christmas, next day or two. Um, and, and it's just, I've just got a lot, to, a lot to be getting on with. So I'm being impatient and I'm not waiting for them to get back to me. But it's just the most beautiful shape. Um, it's hard to really explain if you, unless you've got it in your hand, but I don't really know. It's sort of sort of concavey, it's quite sort of bowed. And I reckon that must be early, I'm not saying early medieval, but I mean, I reckon 1250, 1350, something like that. Um, we'll soon find out. Um, I, I'll give you an update in the next video. Anyway, and, and this one as well, which I'm just thrilled with. I mean, look at that, it's just so bulky and cool. Now I reckon that's got some age to it as well. But anyway, I, I, we, we, we better get on. I've been going on for too long. Thank you very, very much again, and um, and let's go back to the, and let's go back to the fields.